is going to be a gentleman, uh, a gentleman with a background in science. Uh, he started out as a physicist by training and then, you know, had to deal with sort of the impacts of Hurricane Katrina on some immediate family members. And that sort of shifted what he did. So he decided to dedicate himself to doing environmental work. And in doing that, he started a blog uh, for the Center for American Progress called Climate Progress. It's a blog that's dedicated to putting out information on climate and on things that are facing, that have to do with global warming. So with no further ado, I'm going to introduce Mr. Joe Rom. Hey. Hi, Joe. Thanks. Woo. Thanks for uh, inviting me. Uh, thanks for everyone to come. Uh, I would just also say I've been uh, fortunate to be involved in a, a TV series you might have heard of about years of living dangerously. Uh, it's a non-fiction, the first ever docu, docu series on climate change. Uh, last uh, two weeks ago, won the Emmy for best non-fiction series, uh, for outstanding non-fiction series, and it goes on sale um, on DVD Sunday, so you can buy it at Amazon. Um, let me start by saying that what Dominion is doing through its support of Alec is immoral. It is time for them to stop. ALEC, or the American Legislative Exchange Council, is a place companies can fund legislation that harms the public, you, me, all of us, without directly getting their hands dirty. Or at least that's what they thought. In recent years, ALEC has been exposed for its efforts to enact stand-your-ground laws, as well as laws to roll back renewable electricity standards and block EPA carbon pollution standards. As a result, dozens of major companies, including several utilities, have abandoned ALEC but not Dominion. They have worked alongside the Koch brothers on Alex Energy and Environment Task Force to push these Ooh. dirtiest of laws. Dominion CEO thinks there is value in supporting Alec. He is very wrong. Let's go back to the very beginning of all this. You know, the story of Genesis in the Bible. Uh, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. People think this passage is about dominion over nature, but the key word is them. Let them have dominion. All people are in charge, and corporations are not people. Corporations don't get sick when they breathe dirty air or drink dirty water. Corporations, the people do, and corporations don't suffer when heat waves get worse people do corporations don't suffer when storm surges and deluges get intense but people do corporations don't suffer when droughts get longer and stronger but people do corporations don't need a livable climate people do corporations are amoral entities because we were created in god's image we aren't and we're in charge and here we are in virginia where dominion is the biggest carbon polluter and where ALEC is headquartered. If you go to its website and you look at its brochure, ALEC features Thomas Jefferson to suggest that somehow the great Virginian would be an ALEC supporter. Not even close. Uh, we don't have to wonder what Jefferson would think about Dominion's role as a top Virginia polluter or about ALEC's efforts to destroy clean air and a livable climate for future generations. He explained his view of intergenerational ethics in a famous letter to James Madison, he wrote 225 years ago this week, two days from now actually. The key question for Jefferson had to do with whether later generations, you young people, have the right to the same things that we of the preceding generation had, or whether those of us in the preceding generation could basically trash the place. Uh, and so he wrote, must he asked, must later generations, quote, consider the preceding generation as having had a right to eat up the whole soil of their country in the course of a life? A Virginia planter like Jefferson was naturally worried about the country's soil's sustainability. The answer to Jefferson was another self-evident truth, quote, everyone will say no, that the soil is the gift of God to the living as much as it has been to the deceased generation. In short, it is immoral for one generation to destroy another generation's vital soil or its livable climate. And the single greatest threat climate change poses to the next generation, you young people, and the next 50 generations after them, is turning the soil into a dust bowl. And the threat that 
global warming poses to our ability to feed the ever-growing population of the world. And so here I am and here you are to protest Dominion's immoral support of ALEC. A half century ago, uh, 1963 actually, a great moral crusader was arrested for protesting. And he wrote a letter from his jail cell in Birmingham explaining why. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere, wrote Martin Luther King Jr. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. And I say now more than ever we are tied in a single garment of destiny, cloaked as a species in a protective climate that we are in the process of unraveling. And so the need for activism, the need to speak out, is as great as ever. As King put it, we will have to repent in this generation, not merely for the vitriolic words and actions of the bad people, but for the appalling silence of the good people. And so I repeat, what Dominion is doing through its support of ALEC is immoral, and it is time for them to stop. Thank you. Yeah.